A little chilly, but still sunny. A lot to look forward to. This is a live look right now that we want to show you at flights. Arriving at Newark Liberty International Airport, the Department of Transportation is trying to modernize air traffic control systems. They say the equipment we use today is decades old and needs a modern touch. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent, Rachel Knapp, joins us now live. Rachel, you were at the meeting with the DOT secretary. How long will this update take and what changes could travelers expect to see? Well, good evening, Mike and Eva. So they expect if they get all the funding for this, they expect it could potentially take about three to four years to uh, finish all of these projects that they want to work on uh, because there's been a lot of more uh, safety concerns in the most uh, recent weeks and months uh, of due to some uh, uh, crashes and ongoing delays. But travelers can expect changes to essentially everything from radars to communications. Really, there's just a long list that they are going to take care of. Along the press briefing stage at the Department of Transportation, staff laid out some decades old equipment to show people what air safety experts use to help navigate the skies. We've had years of neglect, decades of neglect. It's been a patchwork of fixes, partial funding. We're going to fix it today. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy lays out the administration's vision for a new air traffic control system. We're going to rebuild some towers. We're going to rebuild some TRACONs. We're going to rebuild some centers. Not all of them, but we're going to rebuild a few of them that need to be, need to be rebuilt. Everything else that controls the airspace is going to be brand new. So we're going to have new telecom, new fiber throughout the system. We're going to have brand new radios in our towers to communicate between air traffic controllers and uh, with airplanes. The federal government has been under scrutiny after increased traveler concerns in the wake of fatal crashes, ongoing delays, and most recently at Newark, airspace controllers losing all contact with pilots last week after a copper wire failure that transmits radar data to TRACON, the air traffic control facility in Philadelphia. Anytime an air traffic control scope goes blank for a minute, a minute and a half, that's that's pretty bad. Aviation experts say it was a miracle nothing bad happened from the latest incident. So it's bad, but it can be worse. We just have to uh, make sure it doesn't get worse because we're way past the breaking point uh, in this aging air traffic control system. This ambitious project could cost billions of dollars, but industry leaders and safety experts say it's needed. This is bold, but I have to tell you, it is absolutely necessary to ensure safety in our skies. And Mike and Eva, alongside modernizing this old equipment, experts that I spoke with say another area of focus is going to be on air traffic controllers. Now, the uh, administration says that we're about 3,000 short of air controllers uh, to help navigate our skies. But the administration is trying to recruit and retain many more people to help fill those spots. Mike and Eva, back to you.